X, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, we're gonna be getting the live start here pretty cool, uh, pretty soon. Uh, just waiting on Brian. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. It's hey, what's up? How are we doing? Yes, yes. Let's let's definitely work on um not getting this live shut down. <laughs> oh man, y'all again y'all already came in and got into work, boy. I see them lights going up. Let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. The beard of truth. I like that name. Boss 1978. Great year. That's the year I was born as well. Brandon, how we doing? Welcome to the live. Like I said, uh, we'll get started here in a little bit. Karen's in the house. Um, we'll get started here in a little bit. Like I said, waiting on Ace. Um, and then we'll get started with this. This recap. How's everybody doing? Let me know how you're doing. Let me know where you're wa watching this from. Pat join. Thank you for the join, Pat. What up, man? Yeah. What up? I seen X is already here. Yeah, yeah, he's the first one in. He's like, what's up? Uh, Strive for perfection is a source of pain. Confucius say. Yeah, it's very true. Very true. Geneva join. Hey, thank you very much. Uh -huh. We mistaken. Oh, Amber. So, is it just gonna be the two of us? More than likely. Um, like unless, unless, like I said, Des or um, one of the other ladies want to join. Um, who were there last night? Um, yeah, because I I know that uh, Sam doesn't have TikTok, no. and I don't think Anthony does. No. No. JB. I didn't know about JB. I think he does, but he doesn't have the, the following yet. Okay. So. Blind Uncle Keith. Hey, I have Uncle, uh, Uncle Keith who's actually blind. Is that you, Uncle Keith? If if you're blind, why the hell are you on TikTok? For the for the vibrations and just be able to hear. Good, 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 good vibrations. <laughs> That's like uh, I saw a thing. With I'm sorry, was... Keith. We're, we're not making fun of you. Definitely not. Um, I saw a thing where somebody was um, they they posted a picture of Stevie Wonder, and he was at the airport sitting by a lady, and the lady. It was funny because the lady was sitting there, showing him something on her phone. <laughs> And she was like, like really, like yeah, yeah. And then she, hey, you see her point and stuff. It's like you realize that you wonder is blind, right? And then we get to go rescue. Apparently her, not. Uh, not, not know, unless she was playing like a video or something, so he could. Hear I don't it. know. Maybe. Hello, Karen. It, just, it was, it was just hilarious to actually see that. I'm, I'm sore today. Um, I. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm getting aggravated because I've already gotten three shots, and the plan is to get a fourth shot. What steroid? Well, the last one wasn't steroid. Oh, he was he did a uh, he did a nerve block. Mm, yeah. On the lower half of my body, and it, it did not work. Yeah, I've had that before. That those are not whatever. I mean, I, I had I had relief for like a few days, and then it slowly started wearing off, and now it's just completely fucking gone. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. X, that is a very good movie. I love that movie. Yeah, 
All right, hey, people, we're at 61. Let's get them lights up. I'm trying, let's get over to, let's get over K before we get this bad boy started. You're a dick. Oh. You. <laughs> How am I a dick? Because, <laughs> you know, you say, let's get the fucking likes up. My thumbs are going to start fucking clicking. Hey, that's not my fault. Not my fault at all. At all. Itola. TikTok has phone now. What? Hey, what? <laughs> She's, TT has phone now. Oh. And I, I'm being a smart ass saying TikTok has the phone now. I would hope they have a phone now. Uh, you can choose to run away. They kind of make us have a phone to watch it. Uh, yeah. Or some type of. There should be some type of something. Phone. So, some some type of electronic device, something like that. Um, yeah. Except we're gonna get started here in a few. Um, when we get when we get the lights up, number two, we give people a little bit more opportunity to get in here. Hello, Koa. Can somebody share the live out to some people? Actually, everybody share the live out. By the way, I know not the live or it, but I have a new one for the list. Oh, okay. What do you got, awesome. Amber? No, she's got somebody to add to the prayer list. Hold on to what we got. Doesn't take a me to make it all about got each other. Six's kid's grandmother is in the hospital with stage three We're cancer. There, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you're at 1.4. All right, look at that. We are up over 1.4. I guess we can go ahead and get started. I guess. All right. So, um, for those who um, are joining us for the first time, first of all, welcome. For those who are, who are coming back or returning, obviously, you're just as uh, crazy as we are. So, welcome back again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Big happy family. If you want a laugh, you shouldn't have. Check out. Oh, if you want a laugh, you shouldn't have. Check out uh, short film downside up on YouTube. It's thirteen minutes. Oh, fuck that. That's entirely too damn long. Uh, what I'll, makes I'll you think I got thirteen bit. minutes to just sit and watch a damn video? <laughs> Shit, uh, uh, okay, so. Let's My go ahead and get precious. this bad boy. <laughs> I know, right? Let's go and get this bad boy started. Hey, this is the Birdman Show recap. Um, you already know what to do, so let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> that is right. We are here on the Birdman Show recap. I, of course, am Bur Birdman. This man right here is Ace of the Ace Horror fam. Ace, how the heck are you daring to die? Like I said, I, I'm... <sighs> I, I try not to focus on it. I'm doing all right. I, I feel you, bro. I, uh, I, 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 I could go into it, but I, I'm, I'm not the type to, to, to bitch about my ailments. I just I, do what I got to do. I'm right there with you. I mean, it's, what's the point? I mean, I mean, it's not like anybody can do anything about it. Um, so yeah, I right. Get it. I'm right there with you. Okay, so. Um, if you got a chance to watch the episode last night, out freaking standing, it was a really good episode. Um, at least I felt like it was. Um, definitely did not take the turn that I think I thought it was going to turn take. Um, and I think the reason why though, Ace, is because of how all of us interact with each other. Um, yes, that's the one thing I would say about like it, if you guys you guys are having conversations about that, is that if we if anybody senses that someone's kind of starting to take that that turn that dark turn or. Start to go down a road. We we divert. That, 
yeah, the, the humor comes out. Um, and yeah. someone at any, at every single turn, every single moment, especially, I know when I, when I got myself started to get carried, get carried with that, um, either you, my brother, JB or, or big Sam said something, um, that kind of just helped lift the, lift that spirit up. And I really, I do appreciate you guys for that. Uh, and for those who don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about last night's uh, episode of our podcast, uh, which we, we started, uh, talking and diving into men's mental health. If you have not had a chance to check that out, please definitely go check it out on our uh, YouTube channel uh, at uh, Birdman Show Podcast. Uh, just go check that out. Uh, it's a, it was a really good episode. How did you feel about last night's episode, Ace? It, it was a really good episode. Um, we gave out a lot of good information, <laughs> and like we like, like we we touched base on in the podcast um last it, it was brought up that that we needed to have unity within mental health and, and not uh segregate it um to like men's mental health women's mental health and the the consensus was it, it's the reason why it's it's segregated is because it's easier for for women some women i know that it was brought up that there there are some men or some women that think like men but men don't whenever they get together with other men they don't talk about their problems whereas whenever women get together with other women they they feel comfortable enough to talk about their problems and that that's why there's so much of a focus on men's mental health but i made the comment that it's whether it's men's mental health or women's mental health the advice that we were giving out last night would work either way because i mean if, if you're struggling with something the way that we said that that you could handle it is universal it's not just directed to guys it's directed at girls too and mm -hmm. that that's the thing of it it's the only reason why men's mental health gets focused is because men don't talk about it not because there's a different way to handle it than what there is with women because the situation is going to be the same no matter what sexual orientation you are yeah x yeah that's 100 percent um exactly x and i'll say this um well, we, it, it, my thing is like when it comes to this um the thing is my question and i'm asked i'm asking i'm asking the women out there that are watching right now um uh, please put in the comments somebody answer this question how long has women's mental health been kind of prominent and in, in, in the forefront because we everybody can hey, we'll agree that that uh, jeff what's up but everybody will agree that women's mental health was actually being discussed more than men's mental health before it, this started becoming a thing because this is honestly literally just started becoming a thing about men's mental health um i know women's mental health well i don't know part. if i'd go that far back yeah well i i know that men's or women's mental health played into like especially with pregnancy uh postpartum um you know dealing with depression uh anxiety and stuff like that um early on and early on um and it was never really actually really discussed when it came to men um and so the reason why i say this is very new as far as men's mental health is is because sam who is our youngest participant of the panel you know said that everything that we were talking about you know the old heads here uh <laughs> Dinosaurs, fossils, whatever you want to call us. Um, right. <laughs> everything, everything we were discussing, or it was the exact same things he was going through just a few years back. And yes. so it's not like it was one of those things where, you know, you know, this is just, you know, we were just dealing with this back in the day. This and that. No, now we're, this is almost like in reverse of, of, of some of the stuff that we've talked about before on this, on this uh, podcast. We're actually, basically, we're going backwards in time. Um, and, and we're having to analyze a lot of stuff that we went through early on because 
what I'm starting to figure out and realize that I was dealing with a lot more issues and trauma early on in life, but had have had absolutely no idea what to do or how to identify it. Uh, and then that stuff has carried over into now. And then, you know, having me in the military, going through PTSD and everything else, you know, I'm starting to realize a lot of stuff. So, I mean, my, my, I guess, like I said, my question is, you know, what is the real gap between women's m- mental health and how it's been discussed and men's mental health and how it's being discussed now? Because um, I'm, I'm, t- I'm still thinking that, you know, when, men, women's mental health has been talked about for quite some time. Um, and then now, like I say, we're getting to that point now where now it's becoming, it's becoming more, <laughs> mom bear said too long. <laughs> um, <it's, laughs> yeah, damn, like that. <laughs> what do you got, Ace? Well, my, my thing is, Britt said, um, made the comment, the importance to our new generations. And yes, it does to, need to be something that is talked about with, the the younger generations but we're referring to you brit as far as how long your generation look up at the first comment there wasn't of oh yes this is this is when we as a society need to change this break change this break put a fucking what is wrong with punctuation my god i know you don't talk like that sometimes (laughs) sometimes she does break the generational (laughs) thinking and start teaching the importance to our new generation (laughs) punctuation is important it does go a long way take some space oh go go whatever well, the thing of it is is you still didn't have enough space what, what the hell is that koa yeah what the devil is that what is it is it what punctuation comma oh yes. oh okay okay punctuation right. i thought she was building like a punctuation <laughs> robot or something <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you throw out a period every month. Can't save a few for texts. Wow. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> well, that's 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 um, one way of looking at it. Yes. That, yeah. Okay, but cool. Now that I read the whole thing, I mean, you're right. We do need to break the stigma that mental health is something that's not talked about so that our younger generation is able to freely express themselves so that they don't get to the points that we have where when we think about it or whenever something triggers it we become a pissed off asshole or a a pile of fucking mush in the corner. Britt, are you having problems? <laughs> we can't change the past and how we grew up, but we are the change to the future. Food. Food of tea. Food The food of tea. What the fuck is a food of tea? <laughs> like a manatee? Is that what it is? to tea. Oh, oh, okay. That's, I mean, it's cool. It's all great. Futu T. Matt Chu. Hi, the dude. Um, stop bullying people that do not open up on social media. Yeah. And and that, that, the thing of it is, <sighs> social media is the worst place for you to open up. Yeah. In, unless you feel safe in the environment that you are in, Social media is the worst place for you to open up because yeah, have, there's no, always no. going to be one person that is going to take that opportunity to turn it against you. Yeah. And and my problem is this, it's like, like, and I, and I hate saying this, 
Um, but ladies, you are the absolute worst at doing that. Um, and then you get upset about people being in your business. Like, well, I don't, I don't understand why they can't mind, mind their own business. You've made it my business. I literally, I can go through, I have, I have several female friends that they do this all the time. I literally can go through their freaking like timeline and, and, and just go back and read past posts and just, I can, I, I basically, it's like I'm reading a, a, a freaking novel, you know, I'm saying one of those steamy romance novels that just has all the ups and downs, or it's like a script to a freaking um, a daytime TV show. And, you know, it's just, it's the up and down and then make a comment but like, like, yo, 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 I don't know what you're doing or what's going on, but you just need to stop. Well, I don't know why you don't mind, mind your business. I said, for, for, listen, if about the last six months, I've been all through your business. You have made your business. A, a, a freaking bestseller right now like this is better than most movies that are coming out so i yes i'm making it my business because you've made it my business like i get it but like like a said like social media is the absolute worst place to freaking freaking open up like that now one thing I'll, I'll definitely commend ace on um and and we try to do that here with the birdman show is that yes this is a social media platform but we try to make it safe for anybody and everybody um to talk about anything that's going on with them uh, and we try to make sure we give a safe space uh, where everybody gets gets the uh, respect that they need. Really? Um, and that <laughs> turn the light on. Um, and that you're able to you you know that you have somebody you know like I, I I've been saying for long you know you got somebody you know we got your six you know what I'm saying if, you know it's a military term that most people should know now because they've been saying it for forever. Um, but that means we got your back. Um, no matter what you're going through. We got your back. There's never going to be any judgment, and we just want to make sure that, that you have you have an opportunity. If you need to, if you need to speak to somebody, you got a whole family here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying we we we've got you. You know what I'm saying whether it's on Ace's feet or live, it's on my live. Um, anybody else? Anybody else within the family that that, that does lives? It, whoever it is, you can go and you can always speak to somebody. You can always message myself or Ace. Um, so the opportunity is always there. Um, so Ace, um, so was, I know we, I know we talked about, um, yes, you have, Koa, you definitely have. I know we've, we've spoken before. I think you've spoken to Ace before as well. Yes. Um, every day. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing is, is so we've got yeah. a 10 day streak going. <laughs> you guys noticed that, that TikTok does fucking streaks now. <laughs> I did not notice that until Cole started messaging me and we were talking back and forth. And then all of a sudden I see this like the flame go up and I was like, what the freak is that? And yeah. so I was like, and then Des, and Des and I started messaging each other back and forth and he went up again. I was like, what? And that's when I said, like, oh, you have, you have got hit a whatever streak or whatever. I'm like, what? When did TikTok start doing that? I know they did it on Snapchat, but did, really? TikTok? Seriously? What yes. Else? Okay, so even though I thought we, I thought you know the show went, went very well um, last night. Was there any? I'm gonna be honest with you. Cause I had a few, but I'm gonna ask you. Uh, was there any part that you were not necessarily looking forward to? Maybe talking about. Well, there are several parts that I wasn't looking forward to talking about. Oh okay, God, I didn't um, know I was the only one. <laughs> no, no. Uh, as far as what we talked about. I didn't have any issue talking about what what was brought up last night, right? Um, because they were they, they weren't personalized responses that were desired. It, it was a generalized question, and I'm sorry, I was having it <laughs> right, right, <laughs> X. <laughs> um, it, it was a generalized question just to talk about mental health. Yeah. It wasn't as far as my mental health. It, it was just to get information out there for other people. And James Brown. Woo! Oh, hardest working man show business. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I know that, that we left a lot on the table last night. Mm. And I, I know that another episode is needed.
I'm not looking forward to the second episode because I know that there's a potential of it going to a place that none of us want to go to. I mean, that... no. Um, that's why I said um, last night. I, I, I was actually, I felt, I actually felt pretty comfortable I mean... with everything. <laughs> I felt pretty comfortable with everything. Um, and and like I said, that's the reason. That's the reason why, and I was, I was actually very shocked that my brother didn't pick Absolutely up on that. Absolutely, Ace. I, I was very shocked my brother didn't pick up on that, um, Ace, when I asked that, when I asked the first question, the opening question, um, because I mean, he, he, well, we both went, we went, both went to school for psychology. Um, he went, um, he he double majored in music and psychology. I double majored in um, communications and psychology. Um, and so I'm surprised he didn't pick it up. But after I said something, he's like, oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, psychology 101. So yeah, yeah, you should know that. Um, but that's that was the reason why is because just by asking that, asking a simple question of what your thoughts of uh, Elaine House, um, what your thoughts of, and I'm gonna ask this now to everybody else. Um, you know, what is your thought on? And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna generalize it. I'm, not just men's mental health, but just mental health in general. Um, how it is today and how it's talked about versus how it was in the past. You know, like we said last night, it really wasn't talked about, you know, when we were growing up. Only time we heard about anything that came with mental health is, like I said, if somebody was put in a Street padded jacket. room and they had a little, they had a little nice little jacket that they got to hug themselves every single day and they got to sit in front of a big bay window and drool on the front of their chest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> from all the lovely, lovely, lovely little pills they get to take. Um, but <laughs> no, that's that's honestly that was my that was my understanding of what mental health was. Was like not necessarily mental health, but mental issues. Um, and so, I mean, that was just that was just to, to to hear everybody's opinions on that um, was was really was really crazy. See, Dad said I learned some things. On the podcast, so oh, through so greatly, so so greatly appreciated. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I lived in various facilities through my teen years. I I was in a few in my adult years. Um, <laughs> that's not a joke. Um, yeah, the the military sent me off a couple times. Uh, but anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> Actually, it's even better as an adult. <laughs> yeah, because you guys. Can actually do fun shit. I uh, know. As, like, as, watch your as, mouth as a teenager blank. and everything, you, you get fucking bullied. Yeah. The new you kid know. bully his ass. Yeah, because I remember when they sent me to Denton, they sent me all the way out. Like this is when I was still stationed in New York. Um, they sent me to Denton, Texas, to a specialized PTSD clinic there that dealt with all kinds of things. Um, and what's up, Tony? It was it was very eye opening. Um, and for, cause first of all, it was, it was a co-ed, it was co-ed and I was like, what the freak? Um, but what I, what I enjoyed about it, I think that was probably the turning point for me as far as my mental health. Um, and the reason why I say that is because it was a specialized PTSD clinic for military. Um, so when I got there you know, I was suspecting army personnel, but there was army personnel, Marines, air force, Navy, um, reservists. Uh, they were, they, they Whoa, were some, they were stop. There. Stop. Miss Elaine, both of us fucking said hi to you, so don't you even go there. Yeah. You jerk. See, maybe if you weren't hello. maybe if you weren't freaking doing other stuff and paying attention when we said hi, Elaine. Good God. Oh yes, my God. we both said hi to you. Yes. You came in and I was like, hi, Elaine. Yeah. And, and he, I waved. he said it louder. I said, hey, though. Open your damn ears. Goodness Tell crazy. Pac-Man to shut up and pay attention. And tell yeah. him to read the, read the comments, too. Because I said, hey, though. Oh, oh, you guys are together. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that's probably why he's not there, because y'all there, there together. <laughs> He's, like, I'm not going he, he's probably like, I ain't fucking staying here. <laughs> I know this. what it's like. Screw this. Okay. But, um, no, that, Carry they on. Said, that when they sent me down there, it, it was it was awesome because I got a chance to, you know, be around other military personnel other than just being on the battlefield. Um, and 
I was very I was very closed off about being there because I didn't I, I hated the group session session settings. I hated those. Um, but when I started actually when we got into group sessions and it's I think ridiculous. it was like the second or third day, and I actually I stopped being so closed off, closed minded, and I actually opened up my ears and listened to everybody else. Even though we all had different experiences, but how we felt in the in the in, in some in some cases the fear, the anxiety, you know, just just the overwhelming um, uh, fear of death, all of that was the exact same. No matter who was telling a story, no matter who was telling talking about their experience, what they felt was the exact same way I felt. And for the first time, I I started to realize, you know what, just because somebody may not go through the same things I go through those feelings are are more times that more times than not are the exact same feelings um and it's just sometimes it just depends on how you deal with those and how, you know because some people they're able to deal with certain things a lot better it still bothers them but they're still able to deal with it you know others it like it'll just it'll just floor them it'll just it'll send them into a a, a, a deep abyss that it's hard for them to get out of so it, it's just, it was just that, I think that was my, I, I'll be honest, that was 100% my, my first step on the journey of really realizing what mental health really meant uh, and how much it could actually affect. Uh, what, what are some of your thoughts on that, Ace? Okay, let's go through another. Something about our personal story. Okay, and um, so on that note. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I mean, if 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 we're uh, sharing when, where we we think our, our our mental health came from, as far as is paying attention to it, um, I, for one, was a master at masking my mental health until I died. Whenever I, 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 2015, 2015, March 1st, 2015, I died. And when that happened, it's almost like it reset my ability to push anything down. And I, I, I had a hard time dealing. Um, I, I still have a hard time being able to push everything down. So it, it, that, that was the day that I actually had to face all of my demons. Um, That's all I got. Because if we go any further, it's 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 going to be uh, it's gonna we're gonna have a moment. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stopped when I stopped. Cause I could I could kind of feel it there. Um, Are you just looting everything? It, it's and see, I want people to understand something. Uh, I'm only going to speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for Ace. Um, I think the reason why I have those type of moments um, is simply because. Of, of, of the fact that I, I didn't start thinking about um, what the heck? You got a tiny oh. diny. Oh, got a tiny diny. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, big, really big head and little bitty arms. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> wait till I post a fucking picture tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I started thinking about all the times where. I, I had was letting my mental health affect me, but I didn't realize it, I because I didn't know what was wrong, and then I think about all like how many times I got angry with somebody, or I snapped, or I or I went and did something stupid, or you know I was doing all kind of thank you for the rose land, that's so sweet, bless you, sissy. Um, absolutely, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Um, and I I I, I start thinking about sometimes I think about that and I. I get upset, but not upset as, you know, like, oh man, I'm just so. I get upset because I didn't take the time to figure out what was going on. 
that was that's where I think I get I and then it, it just it, I'm gonna be honest with you, it hits me it make, it really does make me it really makes me sad. Um, those are like the only times I really get sad is when I think about you know how I treated people in the past um, and just didn't realize what was going on. I just thought you know I was just angry for no reason or even if I did have a reason for being angry, um, I I couldn't control how angry I was. Um, and all it was was just the fact that was, I was freaking terrified because I had no idea what was going on. Thank you, Elaine. Um, and that just, for me, that just really, it really, sometimes it hits me. It hits me a little harder than others. Um, but, I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying, I'm still trying to grow, man. Um, that's the best I can do. You know, except for when I get somebody like Elaine who wants to come in here, start stuff. Right. And that just triggers my PTSD. But yeah, uh, Koa, absolutely. Whenever we were growing up, it, it totally, why the hell you give me a fucking cob? <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. <laughs> um, it, it most definitely she wasn't something that was talked about. And um, whenever you get older, it's not something that that you were programmed to deal with so i just ate we we don't know how to deal with mental health because nobody taught us so going back to brit's comments that that's something that we need to um be able to teach the younger generations because I'm, I'm i'm this this is nothing against the younger generations but they're soft and if you've got soft people going around with mental health issues all the time they don't know how to deal with what the fuck do we have to live for I mean, to, we're, we're, we're going to the woods. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going off the fucking reservation. <laughs> I mean, I was already off res reservation mentally. Well, I, I don't mean like, like that way. Thank you, baby. I don't I mean off the reservation that way. Oh, oh. oh off, off the grid. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll put it that way. Squirrel Whoa. fart. Thanks, Wow, Brett. that's. Have you, I mean, have I, I thought I was staying on point pretty good. Have you been around all those squirrels before? Whatever. Chipmunk, squirrel. I mean, aardvark. I mean, Groundhog. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. But that's definitely a poof of air. <laughs> it definitely is coming from the <laughs> nether regions. Yes. Of its buttocks. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, I definitely. Uh, is that is that my mom from New York? I'm sure it does. Who, Melinda? Yes, Pac Man's in here. I've seen him join. Oh, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. We, we mentioned his name and he appears. Wow, um, Elaine shared it to him. I figured she did. Oh, she shared it to Pac Man. Blowing oh. blowing him a kiss from his backside. Wow. Kiss and just burst. Wow. Well, hello, Angel. Angel. Now, what's up? The one thing that I would like to personally do is thank each and every person that that was in the, the podcast last night. Because we we had an average of twelve people in there at any given time and i know that we've all that we've been averaging like five or six and yeah. it, it's it's nice to see uh, i did not see your facebook today i don't get on facebook to scroll but it, it was nice to see um a nice showing to to be able to discuss men's mental health Hey, we also had, um, we also had about, uh, I want to say it was between, uh, 15 and 20 that was viewing on, on, on X. On, on X. So that was also yeah. cool. Cause we were, we were simultaneously 
um, live streaming to our YouTube channel and X. Uh, I'm working on the thing for like for special oh. occasions, um, kind of like last night or like our real talk discussion really? panel of doing also doing something like that on um, Facebook Live. But it's Facebook Live is a little different, um, and there's like a few extra steps I have to go through in order to even do that. So, I mean, I would like to do it, but at the same time, I mean, if I can't do it, it is what it is. I just did you see that? What? Your boy just now followed you. Oh, Pac-Man, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I seen it. I, I followed him mean, back. I, I, I mean, the I mean, fucker was on our, our panel Yeah. for Real Talk, and yeah. he just now followed you? Yeah. Just now? Just now. He followed He, he fucking yeah. followed me the day after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I what know. What the fuck, Pac-Man? Oh, I know. Oh, we're going we gonna to have a discussion about this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nah, fam, you didn't. You didn't. No, but I, nah, I'm sorry. Didn't. Was I was I not supposed to know that? Yeah, or Lane. Say that or... Yeah, Lane. That's 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 your yeah. that's your man. Yeah, that's your man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Get your man's. Get your man's. <laughs> you got thirty. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got thirty counts. God damn man. And you just you only follow me on one. <laughs> Wait, you got thirty accounts? He got. He said he got Why? thirty accounts. Why the fuck you got thirty accounts? You ain't you ain't following us on one? Or are you saying he's got thirty accounts? Oh, I ain't got no thirty accounts. Well, yeah, well, I ain't got no thirty accounts. I got the Birdman. I got the coaching one. I'm trying I got to my keep team up. One. Yeah, I, try, I got. I do have my. I do have my team one. Uh, I got three accounts. I don't I don't have mad accounts. My, my none of my accounts are mad. They're very pleasant. Um. <laughs> But no, I I do I do I I do have a few accounts. Okay, I have four. Whatever. Um, one I didn't even know I had. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know How I had. the hell do you not know you have an account? Because I actually you created, created a Birdman, son of a bitch. I created a Birdman show account, but I didn't like. I guess I, I, I as I'm remembering now, I didn't like what was going on with it, so I ended up having to shut it down because I think it was under a different email, and so I had, that's when I had came up with the. the the tbs.birdman <laughs> gmail and so i created this birdman account with that one and i completely forgot about the other one so yeah and then it came gotcha. it popped up it, it, it popped up because every time i shared something it would pop up and it said birdman um birdman three or Bird, birdman show three um fought, did something or what i'm like birdman show? i said who is this birdman show three i'm getting mad and then it, it showed my it showed my old uh logo my baby picture on, on there it had that popping up. I was like, man, oh, so you going to steal my picture? And you going to be... <laughs> yeah, it turns out it was me. Uh, I was doing it the whole time. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah, now, um, would anybody like to join a box to give their input on what's... Okay, Dad. What we, we did in the live last night or, or what you guys didn't get to elaborate on during the the podcast so basically anybody who was yeah love you too uh basically anybody who who was able to get in watch the live um last night um it, is there anything like it would you like to join in to like maybe elaborate or even ask us to elaborate on on something that we said last yeah night? absolutely And in the meantime, um, while we're doing that, uh, Ace, while we're waiting for somebody, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about of what we're going to be talking about uh, on next week's episode? Why? Because it's mine? Yes. <laughs> Shit. Oh, hit the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> next Pac-Man. week's... <laughs> Pac-Man said, let me get a recap on I missed it. Oh, you also just joined. We just we just talked about it. <laughs> if what well, okay, fuck? we we can we could kind of recap the whole show. Um, that's not a problem. Um, like I said, we talked about men's mental health. Um, you know, the, the question I had asked when we uh, first when we first got in there was, um, and like I said, since we were focusing on men's mental health, uh, and like Ace said, Ace said it, said it very well at the beginning of this recap. Everything, we're, even though we were talking about men's mental health, 
everything we were talking about could be applied to both sexes. Applied to any, it doesn't matter who you are. All the stuff we, all the stuff we say could be applied, you've tweaked a little bit or whatever, and adjusted to whoever you are. Um, but the question was, you know, what what are your thoughts on men's mental health now versus men's mental health back in the day? Um, and we all pretty much have the same response was that back in the day, it, just, it was not talked about, uh, especially if you were a man. You were just supposed to suck it up and, and, and drive on. You know, Brian said it best also, so you just get hurt. He's like, oh, you're bleeding? Nah, rub some dirt on it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep moving. You know, it's like at one point in time, um, you know, are we supposed to be able to, you know, tell somebody, you know, we're having issues? You know, I I'd said this. I said this one time. I can't remember who was, I said it to. Damn, really? Um, oh, somebody yeah. said it to. I was like, you know, sometimes I just get tired of being, having to be the strong one all the time. Um, uh, it gets tiring. I don't want to be Superman. Uh, Superman is one of my favorite characters. I don't want to be Superman. I don't want to be Batman. I don't want to be. I don't want to be none of the superheroes because they're always, always, always having to be strong. And sometimes there's not. There's nobody there. You know that they feel like they're strong enough to hold them up. Jeff, brother, how you doing? Excellent. How you guys? Freaking outstanding. You we're, have questions we're doing for us, good. or do you want, or do you want to uh, elaborate something? No, I just wanted to uh, jump in because um, the podcast last night. You know, I was just in a chat. I wasn't, you know, any part of the the panel or anything. Um, but I I was born in '69, so I grew up through the '70s and '80s, and mental health was not a thing you know i have severe adhd um just recently you know i haven't been properly diagnosed with it but i know i have it <laughs> um but um with my ptsd and everything and now with my service dog uh -huh. you know it, it definitely makes a difference with the anxiety and and everything else and she's been a huge help and yeah. you know being able to talk to you know health professionals now is makes it so much easier than it was in the past you know mm -hmm. like I, like you guys were saying you know growing up it was just you know rub some dirt on it press on it and man up you know yep. i i can't even recall ever showing any emotions as a kid and I, i'm 55 years old and I can't remember once ever showing emotions as a kid. I mean, breaking legs, breaking arms, everything. Not once can I remember ever showing any emotion because it was always, you know, enforced. You, you don't show emotions. Mm -hmm. And e even when I went in the military in 87, you know, I was at active duty from 87 to 91, then got out, went into the guard. And from 91 to 2007, I was in the Air National Guard. <laughs> we didn't deal with any emotions, you know. It wasn't until my first deployment over in Kuwait in 2002 that they even started talking about, you know, their, you know, therapist and whatnot available for anybody with PTSD. And even then, it wasn't like really dwelled into, you know. Yeah, I guess I, I said it was um, like kind of oh, oh well. You, you want to talk to somebody here, go talk to them. And then, you know, okay, you had like five sessions and you were done. All right, yeah, you're cleared. You're good. Here, here's a weapon. Go back to your post. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And the thing of it is, is whenever you went and talked to them, what you talked to them about in the military is not confidential. Right. The ones that they can, if, if something comes up that they deem is life-threatening, they will let your uh, sergeant or, or, or major know that you've got this going on if, if they deem that it's going to affect your, your ability to do your job outside mm -hmm. of that office. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what's fucked up is whenever you go in there, you're going in there with the, with the misconception that what you talk about stays right there right but it doesn't and and that's mm -mm. that's the, that's what makes men so hesitant on going and talking to somebody 
because right. even even that therapist, even if they don't t tell anybody else, they're going to go home and tell their spouse. It's like, oh, right. my God, I had this crazy motherfucker come in today and the shit he was telling me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should tell the cops or not. <laughs> well, that's well, that's like one of the guys was saying last night that, you know, he talked to his girl about, you know, what was going on. And she turned around and used it against him. And my first wife was let the same way. You know, mm. I was talking with, about dealing with stuff and she turned around and used it against me. And that's what led to our divorce. Yeah, I, I can 100 percent test that because. I got out in, uh, I got, I got medically retired in, tw uh, 2012. Um, but I had originally was, was, uh, just supposed to go and talk to a therapist in 2000. And, oh, Jesus. It was after my f second appointment. Uh, so 2007, 2008. Um, and I went, but, uh, after talking to somebody who went, before I did, they ended up, you know, he ended up getting discharged because, you know, they, you know, said he was, you know, just not, he was, gonna, he was not going to be able to finish out his tour. And I didn't want to talk, you know, I wanted, I joined the military because I wanted to uh, have a career. I wanted to do at least 25 years. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I didn't want anything to uh, hold back me getting a promotion. I didn't want anything that's going to hold me uh, back or, or cause me to in my career prematurely so i was like i always just told him i was fine you know that that whole the whole lie of uh what's the greatest lie you've ever told and i'm fine mm -hmm. um that's where it, it started it really started for me um i mean i would say it probably started a few years earlier than that after my um my grandmother died right before i joined the military but um i mean it really it, it just really hit me then and that's when i i really went into overtime and 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 forcing everything down uh and and just you know putting that putting that smile on uh, just trying to make sure i'm making other people laugh so that way it, it takes it, it draws less attention you know it draws you know attention away from me um because right. if you're making somebody laugh you know how could you possibly be depressed how could you possibly okay. be going through something kind of kind of like my Robin statement Williams. last night to try and my statement yeah. last night about the, the top road, you know, trying to bring some levity to this situation because oh. it was getting, it was getting deep, and I'm like, you know what, I gotta, I gotta bring some comedy into it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was another one that was good about doing that with us last night. Um, that I mean, yeah, I mean, it's 100 percent true. Um, because like you know, like and, and yeah, that's exactly who I was referring to, uh, Ace, when I, I was talking about Robin, Robin Williams, because if you're making people laugh no one ever assumes that you're actually mm -hmm. going through anything right um well and that's chris that's farley the was the same way oh yeah. yeah yeah chris farley robin williams a lot of them you know yeah. a lot of the best comedy comedians have dealt with mental illness and phil hartman yep hey, he was another good one uh there's there's i mean that's and that's the thing that gets me is that when you really, if you look about the history, especially when it comes to men's mental health or just and health in general, um, a lot of the male comedians um, that were like just almost at the top of their game, you know, this, they struggled with mental health. Um, and you would think, okay, you're out there, you're making, you're making millions of people laugh, you know, you know, what could possibly, you know, bring you down? And and sometimes we forget that's a lot of pressure as well. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you have you have a hit after hit and you know and they everybody's expecting like every movie you do to be a a, a blockbuster every every special that you do is it's, it's going to sell out and, and you're going to just keep breaking records and it's, it's having to try to come up with new material all the time like I couldn't like hey I, my life is comedy enough I, I'm not trying to go out there and um, make a living out of it you know what I'm saying because that's when that's when material is going to dry up and I ain't trying to do all that um but um jeff what was um what was one thing you realized maybe within yourself um after um being able to hear us talk about some of the things with men's mental, mental health and even even looking at some of the comments that people were making um well, in the live chat a, a lot of it for me i mean like my my mental health and everything is, is 
pretty messed up, but I mean, I'm, I'm struggling with it right now. But the best part of it last night was how to explain to my boys and, and my girls, you know, if you're dealing with stuff, do not suppress it. You know, talk to me, talk to mom, talk to, you know, anybody. You've got all these avenues Mitch, to get it out. <laughs> do not leave it bottled up. And that's, that's what I want as my legacy is to pass on to them a better <laughs> way of dealing with it than what was dealt with us. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely. I like that. That is, I like that as well. And I, as as you're saying it, I'm listening to the music in the background, and it's Ozzy, uh, Crazy yeah. Train. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Fitting. <laughs> Fitting. Uh, wait. A I was the, I wasn't the only one catching on to that one. It was like perfect timing. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm getting messages as as we're so I'm trying to. But uh, no, yes, um, no, that's that's really good. Because uh, I, I think that that's very important. I know Britt had missed, mentioned that earlier in the recap uh, yeah. about teaching the, the generations coming up. Um, I think that's that's yeah. a huge. And 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 Brian said something earlier as well um, about you know you know how you know some of these generations coming up they're soft. I don't mind the toughness that we used to have. Um, as we were growing up, people, you know, telling us, "Hey, you know, you got to suck it up." Because you know, it, I have no problem. I, I, I'm, I guess, I'm, I'm starting to balance out my, my, um, my mental health, um, and and I'm trying to balance that out, like within my son, even my daughters. But it's okay to, like, you know, it's okay to cry. It's okay to, you know, express yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but not necessarily about everything. Right. I mean, you get what I'm saying. I mean, there's some there's yeah. certain things that you know, yeah. like if you, that's just really overwhelming. I get that. If it's something's really overwhelming, you know, something you just you just don't know how to deal with. I get that. But if, if you if you stressed out because you ran out ran out of Doritos and you don't have a way to go get more Doritos, or I know I know it's an over exaggeration, but not really. Stuff, I mean, it's not for me. I love Doritos, um, but. Um, I'll walk five miles and get some Doritos if I got to. I mean, that's that infantry in me. Yeah, I mean that that's that's not really too far of a stretch for for some of these kids today. Oh, you're talking about that? Oh, oh okay, my bad. I thought you were talking about the Doritos part. Um, well, I was. <laughs> no, I mean I'm talking as far as that. You know, you're saying, oh, you know, that's real serious. Actually, I'm saying, no, okay, my bad. Oh, okay, I just hold on myself. Damn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean seriously though, I mean. That's actually kind of sad that that actually, that's actually true. You know, I think what we've done is, and it's like, it's what we do in society when it comes to a lot of things. We go from one end of the spectrum to the other without just meeting in the middle and trying to have balance. Um, that's why, you know, you know the comment, maybe in the comment from, um, um, was that Fury last night? About the balance between men and women, yes. mental health. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, that's probably the best. That's, that's oh. one of the problems is that it was so prominent for women's mental health that men's mental health never got talked about. And now that now that men are starting to realize, you know, because, you know, unaliving rates for men are, are way higher than women. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of it's because we suppress so much to the point where it's just like, why am I even here? Nothing right. I'm doing is getting any better. Might as well just not and be here. The information that I had pulled up on the um, unaliving statistics is per 100,000 men are unaliving themselves 3.6% more or 3.6 3 to 1 over women. Hello. Hey man, can I use you as a reference? Yeah, they, they, I, I was trying to text you back. I'm doing my live right now, so uh, let me text you here. All right, my bad. <laughs> no, you're good, brother. All right, let's hey, you famous. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Are you guys actually you, you can't uh, use me as a reference? <laughs> oh, hey, wow. at least he had the respect I, to okay. ask, though. I know. Hey, you know, you know what that means, Ace? We can actually do live call-ins on live now. Yeah. I'm not giving my phone number out though. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't got it, you ain't coming. <laughs> okay, just a second. Koa. Whenever it comes to releasing what you have bottled up, you have to take baby steps. You have to pick one thing that is causing you to go into a place where you don't want to be. One thing that is affecting your mental health status. And mm -hmm. talk about that to try and figure out the easiest way to work through it. Um, now, the reason why I say baby steps is because you don't want to open the lid to that fucking box and let everything out. Because if you try to work on everything at once, you are going to literally be in a pile of mush in a corner. Because once everything comes back to you, you're not going to know how to, to handle any of it. So pick one thing and, and try to work through that, and then you can go to the next. Right. If that makes sense. And, and to piggyback on you there, Ace, Koa, like for me, when, when I first started talking about my mental health, it, it was a little easy because, you know, it was my PTSD from being in the military. So that's, you know, I started with my experiences of that. And then after my motorcycle accident that compounded the, the PTSD, you know, then I moved on to that subject. So I compartmentalized, you know, what was affecting me at that point and talk about that one specific thing. And, you know, the, the hard part is is finding somebody that's been through those experiences as well, just to be, you know, a good ear. Or oh, yeah. like saying yesterday, a therapist that you build a good rapport with, you know, but it, it's hard because like he said, you know, last night he was in therapy, but they kept changing his therapist. <laughs> you know, that, that would cause me to not want to go back to therapy. And that's why I stopped going to the VA a while ago because I had a great doctor through the VA, but then he retired and they kept bouncing me from, you know, medical personnel to personnel to personnel. So every time I'd go in, I'd be with somebody new. And it's like, I don't want to rehash my entire military history every time I go in for a checkup. No, <laughs> right. So... You know, and that, but that's the thing, like Ace was saying, you don't want to open Pandora's box all at once. You've you got to, you know, pick out one specific thing and talk about that one thing that's bothering you. Well, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like I said, it's like I said um, last night, like the, the therapist I've had, um, and I've had this one, I've had her for the longest. I've had her since 2017. Um, and here is 2024 about seven years later and i've only gotten through half of one of my deployments with right. all the stuff we've talked about um and that's what's and i like i i can't i can't speak for anybody else's experience especially when it comes to the military or anything like that but with some of the things uh i you know maybe one day i'll have a a, a complete open and candid um discussion about that stuff but when it comes to a lot of it it is so difficult to open up about that stuff because there were so many things that I had to do and so many things I saw that I, I don't even wish upon my worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want anybody to go through, uh, the things that I had to go through or, or see or do. Um, and it's so hard to open up about that stuff because for me, I, I'll be honest, this, okay, this, without getting into it, this is what, this is why it's so hard for me when it comes to my military uh, career. Because the things I had to do went against every um, thing I ever stood for and believed in. Oh, you don't need um, I always grew up and was always taught to cherish life. And here I am having to take life um, mm -hmm. and having to justify because, oh, I was just given orders. Um, and, and the fact that you have to detach yourself from situations in order just to get the job done, mm -hmm. um, they don't, they don't teach you how to reattach 
that type of life. Not um, at all. You know, they just teach, they just have you go out there and program you to be, you know, whatever they need you to be and do whatever they need you to do. And then when they're done with you, they just release you back into the wild. <laughs> I mean, I mean, without, I mean, I guess Pretty that's much. the best analogy I can, I can, I can give. They just release you back and then you have to try to figure it out because, and I know you can probably attest to this, Jeff, right, so when you're getting out, that there, there's no, they don't give you a blueprint of what to do no. when you're getting out. They say, Hey, here's a couple of numbers for you to call. Um, yeah. you run into something here, just call this number. All right. So you guys like, Hey, have a good one. Yeah. Glad you made it back. I'm like, what the, so yeah. it's, it's tough. Even after doing 20 years, it was still like that. It was like, Oh, you've done 20 years. Okay. Here's your paperwork. And, um, yeah, we'll see you when you collect your retirement. Yeah. It's just. I tell people all the time, they'll, they'll get you in there. Oh, my God. They go, they jump through hoops to get you in. No, no matter what branch it is, they'll get you in there. Oh, they treat you like you were just a first-class citizen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you're royalty. Until they get you. Yeah, until they get you. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then you you then you, yeah, you then hired help. You know, you coming in through the back entrance. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you, think it's, you think it's the 1930s all over again. Uh, <laughs> you... you you get treated like straight dog shit. Um, and I mean, I, I say that, but I mean, the military, I, I did, I loved my time. That was, I served there uh, mainly because of the men and women I served with. Um, but also because, I mean, I, I know I joke a lot about, you know, the military, um, but they did take care of us um, very well while we were there. And I say why we were there. <laughs> right. <laughs> like you said, it, they, they take care of you while you're in. But as oh, yeah. soon as you're out, okay, here's the number to the BA, and the BA sucks. <laughs> I was blessed. I'm going to be honest with you. I was blessed. Now, you're, where, where are you located at? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Okay, so I don't know I don't know anything about the VAs up there. Where's, where's the closest one to you? Uh, Manchester, about 30 minutes from here. Oh, so that's pretty close. Um, right. Yeah, see, when I first moved back, the closest one to me was, at the time, two and a half hours. Oh, wow. Um, and then when I moved to Leavenworth, that's when I really got the. That's when I actually really got the help I needed. That's when I. They finally looked at my my um uh, my my. That's when they finally started looking at my body in general, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I had went from 2006 until 2000, um, 17, 2000 no 2019, uh, with a torn rotator cuff. Um, they never. Never, they never fixed it while I was in. Um, they were going to, and then that's when I had my back injury with the IED when I got, well, that's another mm -hmm. story. Um, and it messed up my back, so my back became a priority. Um, right. And then it, in the process of doing that, I tore my other rotator cuff in my left shoulder, which they're, they're you know, trying to get that fixed right now. But it wasn't until 2020, this is 24, so 2022, I think, was when I finally got surgery. So... Oh, wow. Yeah, I went from 2008 to 2022, um, and and it all it was all because I started going to Leavenworth. I lived there. Leavenworth VA was literally five minutes. It was a five minute drive for me from where I lived, and so I all my appointments and anything I had to do, I went there. Um, they got me. They got me taken care of. Went to physical therapy after that. They were like, "Yeah, we're just gonna do surgery." Went ahead and knocked the surgery out. I was down for like four months. That was it. Right. Um, and now it's like I said. Now I'm starting doing my my left one. But yeah. It, I can't speak for, like I said, the one there in New Hampshire. Um, um, I can speak for the one in Leavenworth. I can speak for the one in Wichita. Wichita, even though I love y'all deaf, that VA sucked. Yeah. Um, they didn't do anything for me. Um, they just didn't. So when I got to Leavenworth, I was very fortunate to meet the people there. Now, my behavioral health therapist at um, Wichita was phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. She was phenomenal. I got a lot of help with I got a lot of help. Um, they helped me with a lot of things. When I got to Leavenworth, um, and after I got uh, went through a few things, that's when they finally diagnosed. That's when I finally got di diagnosed with bipolarism. Um, and what they found out, that's the reason why I was still having so many issues because the medication they had me on was actually making my bipolarism worse. Um, because they had no one had ever they never even thought about giving me a test for bipolarism. Um, I had no idea. I didn't even know what I didn't know what it was. I thought they were, I thought they were talking about you know a polar that was you know part polar bear, part grizzly bear or something. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't I don't know what. No, that's not what that. 
<laughs> Continue. Was it a, is it a polar bear that speaks English and Spanish? But well, that's bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you are the king of bullshit. You have comedy breaks every once in a while. Yes, you do, Jeff. <laughs> hey, you've even got you've even got Angel confused. <laughs> I just not saying it takes much, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I was just saying I had no idea what bipolar what bipolar. Oh, was. daughter. I I didn't know if it was a polar bear that spoke multiple English, uh, languages or it was a polar bear that had multiple um, nationalities. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, was, we'll, uh, we'll go with that one. Yeah, I like that one, too. I like that one. But all I know is that once once they got me on the medication I needed, I, 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 I've i been doing a lot better. Um, so, yeah, I, I just, I was busy. Uh, what? You was busy tapping what? Your your nose. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we up at. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't realize we was up at seven point seven k. Y'all doing phenomenal. Good job, Angel. Good job. I'll give you that one. Good job, Angel, and everybody else. Because I know Angel was just tapping like that. She wasn't the one doing all that. She wasn't doing all the tappy tapping. Um, <laughs> seventeen. What? It's not seventeen. It's a, it's a seven point seven. I know you're those ten, numbers are. You are ten k off, girl. I know those numbers are small, and you probably don't have your glasses on. But goodness gracious, you at least use a magnifying glass. Yours says seventeen k. Yours is a liar. Mine says seven point seven. Mine says seven point eight. So does now. mine. Mine says seven point eight now. Oh, there it is. Um, seven point eight now. It, it it's got a lot of catching up dude to get 17k yeah, <laughs> and i know you i know you ain't been that been doing that much tapping well bob does go out of town a lot wow <laughs> wow she sent a photo <laughs> I don't to show that know. it says 17k where the heck does it say 17. she said does it Yeah, it does. It wow. does. It <laughs> definitely does. I don't. What? Is that how many people have, have kicked you off their feeds? <laughs> <laughs> and climbing. And climbing. Oh, okay. And yeah. climbing. Well, like I said, it's got some catching up to do. I'm going to jump out of the box, but I'll still be in the chat. All right, okay. Jeff. Jeff, thank you for joining, man. I really appreciate it. Love you, brother. Love you, too. I can disconnect. Oh, you got him? Okay. No, well, I was going to, but uh, he, he, he left before uh, I had the opportunity. That's all good. And we still got boxes if anybody else wants to, to come up here and share their input closing out and reopening okay i mean welcome back did you, does did it still say 17k yeah <laughs> it does not now it says 7.8 uh-huh okay uh-huh so maybe that was carried over from the other lives and it just combined everything until you had to refresh no it's because i was cheating and i guess it doesn't count cheating were you cheating. using a, a a program i was you my phone just went ding i saw this video the other day with this guy was playing super mario or something and i guess you have to jump a lot so he stuck his finger on the screen and took one of those massage guns and stuck his finger to it and I, that's what I was doing. And it made, it went up on my screen to 17,000. Like 10,000 more. <laughs> 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 
You saw I sent you a screenshot. It's, I'm it's not you, that, Angel. I'm gonna need you to never say that ever again. What? It's not for that. Ew. Ew. Y'all are y'all are nasty. We, Fuck. We. Well. We. <laughs> we. You you said you stick your finger on the screen. Hey, they're being nasty. And then you put a massaging gun no, on the me. finger. So it's gonna go. Like a door. That sa that saves your finger a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, it's put a massage gun on that. <laughs> yeah, right there. Put a massage gun on that right there. That right there. <laughs> Tail's not looking at you. Ooh, look, 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 look! I need to find a disclaimer. I need You're getting nubbed for TikTok. So. Yeah. Nubbins. <laughs> Nubbins. <laughs> yeah. Um... So this one time at Kinky Camp? No, wait. Stop it. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> talking about men's mental health. I stuck my nub up some help. <laughs> That's what I was doing. My mental health. Help. Is yeah, he, he, he was helping. My mental health is dark humor. There you go. Exactly. Away. <laughs> Just put your thumb in it. That's okay. <laughs> it should say just put your nub in it. Well, different guy. This is actually merch from a guy that had a gun explode and he stuck his thumb in his jugular and that's how he got to the hospital in time. <laughs> gotcha. Kentucky ballistics. Okay. Did you see what Jeff said? No. Somebody, Somebody just, Somebody just <laughs> said just the tip and he took it too late. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh that is ninety percent of how I how the people I know get through any mental health issues is dark humor. Oh, I thought you were gonna say by standing yes, nose absolutely. In butt. and and putting a thumb in it, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. well that too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, hey, hey, he I did mean, really well today. He didn't break anything on purpose or, yeah. All or no airborne tools. So I did good. <laughs> That's very good. I liked your video, by the way, you, Bob. You deserve it. Which one? You know how you know when, when you're done working for the day? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when this is the sounds that you hear. And that's the only light you see. Right. <laughs> that was the... <laughs> That was the scary part was I, I legitimately was taught when I was younger that if you haven't bled today, you're not, you haven't worked today. You haven't. And yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't punctured anything yet today. So I kept going until there legit wasn't enough light for me to see where the screw goes. <laughs> I mean, that's, well, that, that's yeah. when you put some hair <laughs> around it. Look at this lovely wallpaper that was behind the cabinets. Just sexiness right there. <laughs> Is all those flowers? I, I would have covered it up too. Yeah. Those flowers? Well, they went from this wallpaper. We had a water leak. To painting it this color. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Like I'd have left the damn wallpaper. And then the top's gray. I, the more I see the workmanship in this house, I keep going over and over again. Crack is bad. Okay? Drugs are bad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the then, wow. the inspector a, a year ago missed that. Yeah, missed that problem. Really? Yeah. How in the fuck do you miss that? I don't know, but. How about, how about, how about that? This? How's this for a good. good uh, Holy Crash. fuck! Wait, it gets better. So here's the countertop. Okay. Can you see those two by fours? Where they They're don't, they don't touch. They don't touch the top. Or anything else, but uh, there is an inch and a half between them and the countertop. Legitimately, when I was pulling the the panel off, the paneling, when I was pulling it off. Two of the two by fours stayed connected to the panel because they were not tied to anything. They were just—they they didn't toenail into the floor, no, or the top. 
Or the top. (laughs) What the fuck? Right. That's the kind of wonderful construction problems I'm dealing with. I love humans. They are my favorite thing to throw things at. (laughs) Yes. This this house is starting to look like that, like my video game I sometimes play. Um, um, What is it? Uh, House flip. Mm. Um, Like. Yeah, or, I, like nothing really connects, legit. but everything everything's that's like, a, yeah. legit what's going on. The countertops <laughs> over there, everything's around the room. Yeah. That it's not even connected to anything. Ace. Yeah. He's just what the looking fuck? <laughs> All the cabinets were like that. All the countertops were All like the that. Countertops are just sitting on top. They're not screwed in, tied into anything. So so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a- now, whenever Yay. they put the cabinets up, did they actually hit studs? Uh, some of them. And the the scary part about that is, the cabinets are installed installed at the factory. So even the factory install is screwed. <laughs> so. So that's a modular. Yeah, yeah, we have a modular. Gotcha. We have a double wide. Wow. Yeah. It even has feet prints on yeah. the back side of the drywall. That's not like, my boot. That's someone else. Someone or somebody factory. kicked them with their boot. <laughs> somebody had a bad day. <laughs> but that drywall has to come down too because it's wet. <sighs> Jesus. Anyways, so we'll get it back together as best we can, but it'll have to stay ugly for a while. Oh my god! No, not very long. Thank you, Christy. I, 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 I completely, completely understand that that sentiment. We we uh, will have to stay ugly for a little while. We will have to stay ugly for a little while. The uh, <laughs> because the piece of linoleum is like uh, thirteen foot wide and thirty foot long or something like that. That's not cheap. For, for the floor? Yeah, because you can't... It was just one big, giant piece of linoleum. Yeah. I I would almost... I mean, if you're going to be replacing the flooring, I would almost put something better down. Oh, this was really linoleum. expensive linoleum. But now it's... No, it's waste. No, it's just wasted. Everybody keeps saying, "Put down the floating floor." We have dogs. We have dogs that don't always go outside. Oh, so you don't want the um, messes to seep through the cracks? Mm-mm. No, because the last place we had, we had that floating floor, and underneath it was hardwood floor. So if they did be jackasses, you, they be jackasses, they uh. It would drip hey, down. There it is. It would drip down into the basement. <laughs> I'd get it out in a minute. Hey, Nemo, are you a jackass? Lift yes. your ears if you're a jackass. <laughs> and, and you're a jackass too. Hey, uh, Angel, I, 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 I seen your, your pleasure tool. No, it's, that's not what it's for. If you're putting it on your finger, it is. I was using it to tap the screen. You were tapping something. Yeah, don't mm-mm, don't put that on. Don't put mm-hmm. that on the screen. Mm-mm. You're awful. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, I yes. would never. Yes, I, I would never borrow your front phone. I know that much. <laughs> I'm too old for that shit, anyways. Okay, Man, let's go back to mental phone, health. I need to make a phone call. Oh, you, you can use my phone. No, I'm no. I'll no, no, no. I'll go use it. No, so, no, do no. you have something you would like to add, Angel? Yes, I would like to add that. Um, what do you do when you're at your breaking point to to not break? Hmm. Hmm. When I get to that point, I go quiet. 
because the the last thing that I need is for anything to come out of my mouth that I will regret later. Um, listening to music, playing a game, something to occupy my mind. That way I don't focus on what's going on in my head. I focus to what I'm hearing. Tim can't answer on live <laughs> sex. He, he, he rubs one out. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't oh, Tim out. said, <laughs> don't use your nub. Um, for me, honestly, it's everything that Ace just said. Uh, now, uh, a while back, what I used, to, I don't, one thing I used to do, um, I didn't. I kind of, I kind of refrain from doing that, especially after I, I moved closer into town and everything like that, um, or didn't have a, a space in my backyard, uh, fenced in backyard where I can do this. I used to, have, I used to have a set of boxing gloves that were like a pair of my old, old ones. So I used to put them on, especially if I had a tree uh, in my backyard or whatever. I go out there and I would work on boxing combos, and I just hit it as hard as I, I just hit that tree as hard as I could, majority of the time. Um, and I just did that because it was boxing for me, um, especially when I was in the military, was a wonderful um, way to kind of release. release some of that stuff. Yep. Um, it's just, you know, just you have to exert, you know what I'm saying? You can focus. You can do like the Bobby Boucher in Waterboy and you visualize that thing or person that you are really, really upset with or is m making you reach that break breaking point and you can just hit it as hard as you could. Um, and it was something that I, I used to do quite a bit. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind getting back into boxing, uh, to be honest with you. Um, just because the workouts, you know, they're just, they're great. Um, but also for that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm like Ace. Music. Um, sometimes I'm going for a walk. Love you, Amber. Um Heck, sometimes now that we got this uh, this garage, I got a pool table out there. Sometimes I'll go out there. Every once in a while, I'll go just, just walk out the house, go out there in the garage. You know, play a game of pool or two, and then I'm usually good to go. Um, but I've been, I'm, I'm kind of fortunate because if I start getting to that breaking point, I can just come to my bedroom. Uh, my office is attached to the bedroom, so if I just want to, if I want some time just, just alone, I just come in here, shut the door to the bedroom, shut the door to my office. Um, yep. And normally, no one, well, nobody other than Des comes into the room, so. Um, She'll always knock, you know, before she comes to the office. But this night, sometimes she just comes in and checks on me, see how I'm doing. And I'm saying, I'm just working on some stuff. Which is true. I'm working on some stuff. Working on some stuff on the computer. Working on some stuff on myself. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but, uh, no, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's great. I mean, my thing is, I can tell people all the time, you just got to, you got to, you got to start small and find something. Um, number one, find something that, that um, you know, Definitely get your mind off things, but also brings you some joy. Um, for a long time, like when I first got out, when I had started coaching um, youth basketball, um, that was, for me, almost like a safe haven. It was like a safe spot, safe place for me to go because my only focus was those kids. You know, they were looking to me to try to teach them something new, keep the game fun. Um, so I was uh, coaching uh, third and fourth graders. And it was fun. Like it, it, it reminded me how much I loved the game, um, and that what that's what honestly kind of sparked me back into getting coaching, uh, and why I'm coaching now. But yeah, it was fun because we just we just you know uh, teach the kids stuff. You know, the, the you know, parents were coming up; they were getting involved. Uh, it was just it was awesome. Um, and I found that for that hour and a half, everything that was bothering me was not bothering me anymore. Um, it's, it's, it's always good to try to find that one thing. Uh, if you find that one thing, awesome. If it's, if it's two or three things, even better, whatever you can do that can help you keep out of that dark spot, dark space, um, is great. Uh, Christy, how are you doing? I'm okay. All right. I was gonna tell you guys that I got my new teeth. Let's see that. Awesome. Good job. Look good. So... You're welcome, Angel. That's my positive for the day. Oh, that's good. Did you get them yesterday? Today. Oh, today. Yeah. 
And then my daughter had to go and piss me off. So. <laughs> did you, did you spit her teeth, your teeth at her? I'd have liked to. <laughs> <laughs> now, Angel, I, I will... I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull off of, of what Tim and I said. What works for us won't necessarily be what works for you. You have to find that one thing. Like, like X said down there, you have to find that one thing for you that calms your mind to make the emotions dissipate. If for it's me, it's craft. That that that's mm. what I was gonna say. If it's doing crafting um, and you know one thing I used to love to do? I used to love to put together model like cars and planes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't do that. Oh I love it. Loved pissed it. me off. They pissed I loved me it. Off. I loved it because it did piss me off. But it I was I was mad at something else, something that was trivial. And then I would laugh about it. Like, seriously, you get mad about this stupid car? Come on, bro. You know, and I'd sit there have a conversation like myself, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Dez is definitely coloring. Um, yeah, music coloring and tie dye. Uh, I need Mama Bears. Her. I need to, yeah. Now, need to get, Mama need, Bears is her plants. Mm. There's there's a lot of people that find a lot of solace in in uh, doing some type of gardening. You know, whether it's plants or you know, gardening. Um, like vegetables and stuff like that, um, and I can see it. I can I can see and understand it. I, I just ain't got the patience for it. Um, <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> yeah, I ain't got the patience. Like I, I think that'd be wonderful. Great, it's cool. It, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I used to always want to do the bun bonsai trees. I still want to kind of learn that. I just actually cut it had off. a. You would what? I'd just cut it all off. Let's go with you. I had a couple of guests that, that stayed here at the hotel for a little while that sold bonsai trees. Really? Yeah, I had to go into their room to look at their air conditioner one day, and they had like 20 bonsai trees everywhere. And I was like, wow. the fuck am I walking into? <laughs> Mr. Miyagi's um, backyard? Yeah. But then I seen them up on the, the corner in town one day. I was like, they stay in my hotel. <laughs> it's like, now I know what they're doing. I used to find, so I would usually do clay. But I can't do that because there's no space for that here. Not with Marshall. He's, no, that's, nope. Well, yeah, I, I could see that being an issue because you have to have a designated space for it and yeah. with him Everywhere. getting around like he is now he he would find a way to uh intrude mm -hmm. on that space now you said clay so you're talking about like uh ceramics or you, what are you talking about like, like no like, like, like clay figurines oh okay i don't know if you're talking like about, the one of ace i know if you're yes. talking about um it's okay right okay, up there I know you're talking about like um, you know, like 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 ghosts. You mean more than ghosts type? No, no, no. no. Like... Uh, <laughs> see, for me to sit down and do anything that's crafty or anything, or read, everything has to be clean. And right now, that's not gonna happen. No, yeah. it happens. I guess you. Not at her house. Not at my house because they're in, nope, not right now. Uh, so, and I have a big, um, I hate the word trigger. That is, I hate that word. Um, but my daughter's but. birthday <laughs> next Monday. Your, bar, oh, your daughter's what? Uh, so, my you daughter's what? birthday is next Monday. The daughter Monday. that she lost? Oh, yeah. So, it's going to be a crappy day. We were going to... Um, have a big cookout and everything, you know, get my mind off of it. And then this happened. I'm like, absolutely nobody can come here. Nope. Not only is it ugly, but it's not safe right now. Uh, so there's that. 
Uh, now, well, let me ask this question while we've got you on here, uh, Amber. Where'd you go? Uh, I'm back. Uh, let me ask this question. How are you doing? Who are you asking that to? You. You said Amber. I know. I, I said Amber and I was like, fuck, Angel. <laughs> How am I doing? Um, How are you doing? The doctor said I could take off my cast in three I, weeks. I'm not talking about your fucking leg. No. Yeah. I am I am doing the best I can do. I'm having a lot of nightmares, but that usually happens about really, really close to any important date. Right. You know? Um, I get a lot of nightmares, but I've been dealing with this for... She would be 35... And she was seven, so I've been dealing with it for a long time. I just learned how to cope with it, and I do okay, the best. I guess I, I should do. be more specific. What? what? I do the best. How, how I can. is your concussion doing? I mean, it's better. Obviously not. It's better. <laughs> Stuff is so foggy. I. You know, I do have a lot of problems. Like, I can remember somebody in my family's name the other day, and I was like, how long is this going to last? Uh, uh, for you, how old are you? Yes. Uh, 52. 52? Uh, I'm not 52 yet. So are you 50, 50, 52? No, I'm 51 and a half. So you're 52. Um, <laughs> her birthday is in November. Uh, it's yeah, not. Yeah. You did too. It's the day before our Halloween. It, it it should be in November. That's right. You are you are Halloween. an early Scorpio. Mm -hmm. be, yeah, because she's a spook. What did what you just say? He he I said you you're. Out. I said you're a spook. No, you shouldn't say it's like that to Tim. That is not nice. That's wow. racist. Wow. Sounds like you're the racist, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> there was absolutely nothing racist with my comment. Thank you very much. No, definitely not. And I said it at the same time. <laughs> Love you, Angie. You, you said what? That I'm racist? No, I said she was almost a spook. Yeah. Because my cousin's <laughs> birthday is that day and then my mom's is november 1st so they both just barely beat it my so mom's got a cousin go ahead my mom says i was three months early but i weighed six pounds so I don't. I think she was lying. That you. And that I was, you weighed six I was, pounds. I weighed six pounds. I wasn't in an incubator or anything like that. She was just talking There's about no your way. Head. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I love it when you pick on me. It makes me laugh. No, no, oh, I only no. do it because I care. No. You you do realize what? that the human brain weighs seven pounds, right? I have a concussion. Which means so, you're down to one pound. <laughs> you you have been reduced. I've been reduced. <laughs> yes, you have been reduced. Uh, this angel, don't hey, don't don't take it don't take it bad because look, when I was, since I've been in the military, hell, I had eleven concussions while I was in the military. What I really hated was when I they went to the shit the neurologist and they're like, I'm like, can't tell me what all this stuff means on this report and what all these marks mean on my brain, and she was like, I don't know. And I was like, but don't you get paid to tell me? She's like, right? well, that's not why we're here. We're here for your concussion. I'm like, well, 
Does I want to know what all these marks are? <laughs> yeah, my neurologist. Like, told if you hear from a concussion, yeah. then what the fuck does it mean? <laughs> yeah, you could do with that either. My neurologist told me one time when I was this was right before I got out of the military, and um, I had just got I had just got my eleventh concussion, uh, and we were on our way back from um, um, Afghanistan, and <laughs> I got the I got the we got to Germany, and they had me see somebody, and <laughs> he was like, <laughs> it was so hilarious, man. I was, I was like, I was like, so doc, oh, you know, laid on me. How bad is it? He was. He just looked at me. He was like, "Well, son, I'm just gonna tell you, you got one concussion away from wearing a helmet for the rest of your life." <laughs> I was like, "Dang, oh, God, <laughs> that's that's pretty straightforward." Like, damn, I was like, "Jesus!" I was like, oh I'm my God, walk around with bubble wrap around my head for the rest you, of my life. You would be, God. you would be an official window licker. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you were one concussion away from burning a helmet for the rest of your life. Like, Jesus, bro. You couldn't have been like, hey, hey. You take it easy. You my told him fuse, to give it to you straight. My fuse is so short. I'm like one more doctor pissing me off away from going to jail. Yo, I don't understand why short people always talk about their, their fuse is short. Your fuse is about the length of your body. What are you talking about? <laughs> like when I went yesterday. <laughs> And took that stupid machine back, and I said, "Okay, what else can we do? I need something like a device. I'm going to say this, and Tim's going to make something out of it, like an oral device for instead of a CPAP." Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, and he was like, "She, she was like, okay, I'm just repeating this because the doctor told me to." And I'm like, "What?" She said, "Your BMI is too high. You can't have one." And I was like. Did you just say I'm too fat to have anything but a CPAP? And she was like, I, I said, okay. So, okay. And I just hung up. I was like, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna, oh. gonna drive there and punch you in the face. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> so they'd rather just let me die in my sleep than give me a mouth guard. <laughs> I have so many questions. Oh, I have no questions. I got a lot of comments. <laughs> Evidently, you can put this thing in your mouth and it holds your tongue in place so your tongue doesn't fall like in your throat. Yeah, Stop it. A pecker. Not that. Not that. Stop it, Bob. They're picking on me. Uh, you, hey. well, you sit there and say... You go to the doctor and say, can, is there anything that I can put in my mouth to help <laughs> me breathe better? <laughs> It'll hold my tongue down. Anything so is see, look. So see, look. Bob, you can Bob can help you can help Bob out, and Bob no. can help save your life. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, the, the Kool-Aid that comes out no. afterwards has protein in it. So you're getting, Lord, you're getting your daily you dose of protein. This all the way around the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> What's that? No. That ball player's name that uses that mouth guard. What? You, you Steph know Curry? the one that has the that had the purple uniform. Steph Curry. Uh, you play for the there, Lakers. There's, He's there's really Lakers. tall. There's, had a mouth guard. There's a yes. lot of Tequila basketball Neal, players. That mouth guard. That he does that commercials where... about it. Well, he didn't. He didn't wear it while he was playing for the Lakers. No, but he wears it instead of a CPAP. He probably just does a commercial for it. <laughs> it's called paid advertisement. Like, what? Holy shit, Angel! Not every person, not every famous person that that advertises a product actually uses the product. They just get paid to say that. He said he could didn't like the CPAP. Oh Lord Jesus! Yep, yep, you're right. You're you're totally right. <laughs> you're totally right. Yeah. Don't bark. Yeah. Don't tell, don't tell Bob what to do. <laughs> that was the three-legged dog. Do what? That was the three-legged dog. Once again, tell, don't tell Bob what to do. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. How rude. You a thorough. 
Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. Um, Can we talk I, about something else? I don't even know what we're talking about now. <laughs> uh, something going in, in Angel's mouth that holds no, your tongue down. No, that is not what we're talking about. Let's talk about... That is what we were talking about. Yeah. Technically, it was. So, other than that, we're supposed to be getting a, some kind of bed that lets you sleep upright, and that's supposed to help take care of stuff. So, we'll see. <laughs> supposed to take care of stuff? As far as breathing and stopping breathing. Oh, I'm sure that tongue depressor you were talking about putting in your mouth is going to help you stop. <laughs> <laughs> with that as well. <laughs> That that gives new meaning to grab the headboard. Something like that. There, I don't think this has a headboard. Well, I mean, if the motherfucker is upright... What are you, a vampire? Like an old person's bed. <laughs> yeah. A vampire? yeah. We should, yeah, we should, I mean... We you, done moved into the old people stage of life. You, 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 you've Mine been there for a minute. Mine doesn't have a headboard. Yeah, yeah. You've been there for a minute. I have not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. you done hit the top of the hill and and rolled over. I don't even I'm, think I'm even, almost there. I don't think you could even. I don't even think you made it to the top of the hill. I think you went over the curb. Yeah, <laughs> hit the curb. She, she went around it. <laughs> <laughs> she went around the block. I made it. I hit. <laughs> 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 oh my god uh yeah i will yeah. say we did have a pretty good recap today we did but we did. as Actually, always too many. It, it turns into a shit show yeah especially That's with angel world. especially with angel popped up yeah you never know what she's gonna say or which end it's gonna come out of uh, um anything that was related to that no, it was all. I mean, you, you, you know, going she in, going she does in. have rapid fire. Yeah, you were talking about everything. You were talking about your tongue depressors and and such. Yes, yes, you were. <laughs> we had a three hour road trip in the other day, and I didn't even stop to go to the bathroom. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. I, wish, uh, I was I asleep. Seat cushion wasn't very happy about that. You were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor gave me a new kind of medication, and it knocks me out. Good deal. Bob Bob had himself a nice break, didn't he? He did. He was oh, like, he was, he was "Take this life. medicine in thirty minutes, you will be asleep," and that is exactly what happened. Hell yeah! Are you are giving the medicine now. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, but I usually take it right before trivia starts, and I usually don't make it till the end. You you did pretty good yesterday. I did. I was you surprised. Did. I was really surprised. Yeah. Okay, so we did talk a little bit about... Um, uh, you did talk a little bit about Chris Watts earlier, didn't you, Ace? No, uh, Jeff jumped in the box. Oh, that's right. Um, so why don't we tell? Uh, you shut up. Why don't we tell everybody? Well, I, uh, I don't want to give any. I don't want to give any details about it. Not not, not um, any details. Chris, Chris Watts is um, a 39 year old man who murdered his pregnant wife and two kids. That is going to be the um, topic of discussion on the next week's podcast. Thank you, Angie. I'm sorry, I'm getting attacked by a little... I mean, it, it's... <laughs> I'm going to say it because it is what it is. It's a fucked up case. It really is. And th yeah, there are going to be triggers in it. I never, I never but, heard of that one. <laughs> you you haven't recent? heard of Chris Watts? Is yes. It, <laughs> it was uh, 2017. Hmm. Thank you, Angie. We quit watching the news and stuff. Thank you, but, Angie. Uh, I was going to ask you, though, about the podcast. Is it is it always going to be some gruesome murder thing? We focus on true crime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, true crime and men's mental health? It got on my hat. 
that that's that's why we ask for suggestions. I didn't know yeah. that we're only supposed to be suggesting crime. No. No, we're not saying we're not saying suggest crime to go do. We're talking about stories. Oh, really. cases. What are you talking about? I thought it had to be some kind of yes, Angie. crime. No, no, no it didn't have you, to be. You give us a topic, and if we can find enough information about it to make a podcast over it, and it's interesting, then we'll do it. I mean, we did the uh, Coffin Confessor. That had that nothing to do with murder and crime and everything. It was somebody who told the thoughts the last thoughts of the the person in the casket i mean we we've we're, we're doing that, that series <laughs> we're doing that series with uh fury storm called the, the the you be the judge i've seen that one so i mean they don't have to all be um about crime and murder okay that, that's why every week we ask for suggestions from everybody to give us a break on what we actually do. Look at that baby. <laughs> I'm about, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we <laughs> Do what? We had to send Marshall and his mama someplace Gloria. else because of the mold. Just a second. Do what, Christy? <laughs> Said I have a true crime for you. What's that? I got all the details on everything. Your daughter? Yep. I'm about to have one right now. <laughs> would is is that something that you would be able to join us with? Yep. Hello, my beautiful sister. How are you doing, you badass biker bitch? Oh, Mandy in the house. <laughs> Look, Tim, she talking to you, trouble. Whoa! What's with the hostility there, lady? Oh. No, trouble's me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, whenever she, whenever she says trouble, whenever she says trouble, that 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 refers to me. Mm -mm -mm. But um, oh, that kind of hurt. Um, hold up, let me see, let me see. Let's show, let's have uh -huh. But yeah, you better watch yourself, Mandy. Uh, I, 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 I relate too much to that trouble comment. Um, <laughs> but yeah, now um, I, I think it was a good recap. Um, let's see, because like I said, we got Chris Watts coming up next. We got um, after that, I think it should be the judge. Um, yep. I believe. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one as well. Uh, those those are always fun. Uh, I did follow this Chris Watts case uh, for a while when it first came out. At first, I was just kind of confused on it. Um, I think I've seen a, I think I've seen an advertising for it. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I, I did follow that case for a little bit. Uh, just because it was just weird at first. And I was like, man, this is crazy. You know, this dude's you know, trying to find his family. But then some, some things just weren't adding up. And then, of course, we end up finding out what's going on with it. But, um, yeah, I'm, so I'm looking forward to talking about this one a little bit. Um, definitely looking forward to you, for you to be the judge. Uh, we're coming up on, this is episode, I mean, yeah, this is episode 16 uh, that we're coming up on, correct? 15. Or 15. 15. Yeah, 15. So we got five, after this one, we got four more episodes. Um, until season we'll take, three is over. Then we'll over. take a week off. Yeah, take a week off so we can get a little vacation. Uh, and then we'll get started with, with season four. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, now we, what I'll probably do, here's what we could do, Ace. We're going to take a week, we'll take a week off from the, from the, um, podcast. 
but we could go ahead and still do the Birdman Show recap and do a um recap of season three. Um and just Absolutely. like talk about a few highlights from, you know, different episodes. Um and, and, and do something like that. I think that would be kind of fun. Matter of fact, we could just do that. I think that's a good idea. We could actually do that as a um an episode not necessary yeah like an episode but not an episode uh we still do it on thursday uh if that works do it, do it on thursday where i can actually do it on Streamyard. and since you and i have um the following on tiktok we can do another tiktok actually, live uh, well the reason why i was saying that is because on Streamyard i can actually pull up and show past episodes but they wouldn't be able to see that on tiktok mm -mm. Actually, yes, they could. I would have to, I would have to rig this up a little different because I can actually do dual camera, so I can right. have a camera facing me, and I can have the other one facing my, uh, or having the back camera facing the, like a TV, to where it actually will pull that up. Um, so, well, I, we'll, we'll we'll work on. We got some time. Um, right. We got some time to figure it out. I'll work on. It. I'll play around with this thing for a little bit, uh, and then see what I can come up with. So, I would love to be able to do something like that. Um, so that way, um, everybody on TikTok, if they're not able to watch us on the YouTube um, version of it, because in the YouTube version, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of like um, like the lower thirds and um, the fact that I am able to pull up videos and, and share that audio with the people that are watching us on our YouTube channel and even on X because um, uh, we're, we're also on X slash Twitter. Um, they and they get they can see all the same thing as well. Fucking, so why can't I see now? I'm having those fucking moments. What? Uh, hell, earlier I called Angel Amber. Now I just called her Angie. <laughs> I mean, at least it starts with a fucking A. Yeah, you see how it is. You're fine. You're fine. Love your face. You reach baby. for my hat. Christy. Last, 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 last time, jerk. Yeah. What is your daughter's name? Mark. Kristen. <laughs> K R I S T E N. Okay. Don't, don't touch the microphone. Don't Last touch name? The microphone. Same as yours? No, it would be under trickle. T R I C K L E. Okay. Go and down there. Somebody wants to. They could go interview him. Just saying. Go interview him? Yep. Why would I want to? I don't know. They take yeah. they would take my, my pew pew away from me before I went in. <laughs> you know, I'd have to take care of my family. Oh no. Alright. Got her on there. Everybody I, think I like the cowboy hat better. <laughs> yay! Say yay! Say yay! Say yay! What's that? Come on, hit them. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a rhinestone okay. cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Um, but yes, uh, definitely. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm looking for that. And like I said, that, yeah, that'd be something cool to do. Do like a recap of uh, season three. Um, I think that's something we can do moving forward. Um, just that that week we take take off, actually take off from the show, do a recap uh, of the season, and then maybe also ask for new suggestions right. come for the upcoming season. We've All got right, quite a love few. you, Angel. See you later. We've got quite a few. Um. What the fuck? We've got just enough to do a full season. Who the fuck? Dude, somebody made a sex edit of Reed off of Criminal Minds. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck out of here. Take your child. <laughs> and that's not counting the, the ones that Mama Bear sent you. Yeah. Um...
but yeah, yeah. Yeah, that thing that would be fun. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Um, so yeah. Uh, definitely I want I want to definitely suggest you guys next week. Um well it's just gonna be me and Ace, so it's gonna be Ace and myself, so let me do correct English there. It's gonna be Ace and I, um, <laughs> next week. So we will do um another TikTok live slash um stream yard slash YouTube slash X, X. slash <laughs> <laughs> a lot of slashing going on here. <laughs> we will go live on TikTok for next week's episode. Yes. So it's something we tried out before. I I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I also want to give a shout out to everybody. We got we're up to eight k on uh, our likes. Outstanding. You guys never let me down. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a lot of fun um, to be able to do that. So uh, I am definitely looking forward to it. Um, uh, doing this again, uh, doing the live for our our actual show because it is pretty cool. Because some people they 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 only hear about some of the things we do when we do the recap, and they don't really you know sometimes it doesn't work out. They don't have the opportunity to get on there, and sometimes TikTok is just an easier way for them to get on. Um, and so I would like to, I, I want to definitely be able to continue to extend that opportunity for, you know, everybody who, who supports us to be able to, to check us out on, on the show. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a little bit better of experience watching on YouTube, uh, or an even X because the simple fact is of the, the visual effects and stuff that I'm able to do. Um, but like I said, if you're able to just come in and join us on TikTok and then go back and watch the episode later on YouTube, by all means do so. And you can always do that by going to our YouTube channel. Bird Man Show podcast. Um, definitely, Ace. You want to remind everybody about what happens right after the podcast? Right after the podcast, we come back over here to TikTok and we do trivia. We do trivia from eight PM to ten PM, and it's it's always a good time. Always, Tyler Perry for the win. Never. <laughs> you know what's fucked up? It's going to come up one of these days, and the answer is going to be Tyler Perry. Yep. And, and you're not going to be in the live. Probably is what's going to happen. It's back to us exactly what's going to happen. It's exactly what's going to happen. That's why I keep coming back, because I, 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 I just have faith. I have faith. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I have faith that it's going to be Tyler Perry one day. Hey, you know what's funny? I'm not really that. Big, I'm not even really that big, huge of a fan of Tyler Perry. Um, I, I I like some of the, I like some of the Medea movies. They are they are they are freaking hilarious. I'm not an overall fan of Tyler Perry. <laughs> I mean, I think he's he's a talented actor, but just I just I mean, it is what it is. But it's just I don't know. Right. I don't even know why. I don't even why know you how started, I started on that? that. Yeah, I don't even know how I got started on that. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't understand. I don't know. I think it was. I think it was because there was a couple of times, I think it was like three or four times I answered the question correctly, but because it didn't pop up on your screen first, I didn't get the answer. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to just say Tyler Perry. And I guess that, that name just popped Probably. in my head for no, for no reason. For It was just random as hell. And as soon as, as, soon as I got answer, I was like, Tyler Perry. We got Tyler Perry. Ha ha ha. Tyler Perry. And then now it's kind of taking the life of his own. Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure someone's going to reach out to Tyler Perry. Somebody's going to reach out to Tyler Perry and be like, hey, Tyler Perry, you need to tune into Aces Live. Because your name comes up a lot, and so then, so then we're gonna get Tyler Perry to follow us, and, See you later, Christy. and that's how it's gonna start. Love you, that's how it's gonna start. Love Thank you for too. joining us, Christy. But that's how it's gonna start. We're gonna have a beautiful friendship with Tyler Perry. He's gonna invite us to be in a few of his movies, um, doing the Birdman Show podcast, and we're gonna become the best. Now that would friends. be cool, right? All right, like Medea can come on because we're like interviewing her, right? For, for like a new, a new jail sentence she's about to get. Um, yes, yeah. yes, and Joe and Absolutely. Brian can be on there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes, that's cool. And Mister Brown, oh wow, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. So Tyler Perry, why don't you just quit playing around? Come on, come on, join us. Come on, absolutely. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Absolutely. Bring the whole clan. But anyways, <laughs> hey, so we're going to go ahead and shut this bad boy down. Um, I, we definitely want to thank everybody who joined. Um, Ace, you got anything you want to say to the good people? 
Uh, other than thanks for the uh, the support. Without without you guys, like I always say, without y'all, there is no us. No, we can't do it without you. One hundred. Um, I definitely, like I said, um, I just want to reiterate one hundred one hundred percent. Don't ever think you're going you're going through anything alone. Um, there, there there's definitely plenty. plenty blah, 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 blah. There's definitely plenty, plenty of people, of people <laughs> here. Oh God, I'm so tired. Uh, there's I think I just had another stroke. Um, there's definitely plenty of people here. <laughs> that had a concussion. Actually, I might have got a concussion when, when rain hit me in the head. So oh, I'm the guy that go get my helmet. Um, but <laughs> I get my helmet. <laughs> when, did, when did we get ice cream? Um, uh, there's definitely plenty of people that uh, are in your corner. That we've got your six. Uh, you're not alone. If you ever need to talk, please reach out um, to, to anyone. Re- reach out to myself. Reach out to Ace. Uh, if you know somebody else within the, within the family, reach out. Um, you can always come talk to us. And there's nothing that we're doing, um, even though we do the recap. Um, got your six. Christy. Um, even though we're doing the recap cap, Brian's doing trivia, uh, or whatever else we're doing if we're here on live, nothing is more important. If if you're really going through something and you really need to talk, do not hesitate to just say, Hey, you know, I need to talk, you know, you know, I'm going through some stuff, I need some and we I I know I know Brian I've seen Brian do it. He he stops he'll stop everything to talk to, to make sure that you're okay. You know, and I have no problem doing the same thing. Uh, so definitely always remember that. You're not alone. Thank you, Angie. We got you, Angie. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so you're not alone. All right. So uh, definitely, I don't have anything else except. Just to let you know that the baby's back. That's right. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Birdman out.